Okay guys, in tips number 12 we talked about knotted hopper legs and we used pheasant tail fibers. Well today we're going to take hopper legs a step further and talk about making them with rubber. On the other side we'll take a look at that. This is just a kind of a make-believe hopper body. All we're going to do is tie, tie legs on and show you a couple of ways to do it. Now we're going to be using this material right here. This is a, a rubber material. It strips off in strings like this. And uh, we're going to start with a pair that I've already cut off. And I'm just going to tie them on the hook. And we're going to just do this with uh, snug but not tight wraps. And I want you to notice that we can tie them on together and make them even. And I want you to also notice that I did not use really tight wraps to tie them on. Now let me turn this around so you can see. But if I really crank down on this, it causes those legs to really kick out like crazy to the side. And that may or may not be what you want to do. Our purpose here though is to back off now just a little bit. Get those legs right up about there. Good. And uh, tie those legs on with snug but not tight wraps so that we can easily reposition them. We'll talk about what we do with it in a few minutes. But first off, let's get a layer of snug but not tight thread wraps in place. You see we've got our wing, our, our legs here. Now we're going to bend these legs using crazy glue. And this is um, the Ultra Gel Crazy Glue, and that's the one you want. You do not want to get the liquid stuff because it runs all over and it won't do the job that you want it to do. But we're going to start by putting a drop on top there and one there. And now let's make sure we close that stuff back up because it could sure make a mess. And the last thing I want to do is glue my fingers together in front of all of you while we're filming. Now I just le left that set on there and now I'm going to grab a hold of the front one so it don't pull out and stretch that. And a little bit more. That makes that leg pretty good. Now let's grab the other leg. You see what they do? What you're doing now is you're stretching those and you can keep stretching and bend them at a 90 degree angle. In fact, let me take this near side one. Let's do it some more. You see it's kicked down just a little bit more than the one on the off side. That's okay. Our purpose here isn't to tell you how to position your legs. It's to tell you how to adjust them the way you want them. Now what I want to do now is go ahead and using... What I want you to see now is that I can really tighten this up by using the softer wraps as an under wrap and a uh, kind of a buffer zone if you will and I can put really tight wraps on and yet my legs don't reposition themselves and now I'll trim that off trim that off and now you've got your bent legs now you can do it that way or we'll um, take all this stuff off and we'll meet y'all back on camera here in just a moment. Okay, now we're, we're back after removing the, the glued legs, if you will. And now I just have a pair of legs that I put a, a, a knot in. And we're just gonna go ahead and tie those on. And they can be a real pain in the neck to get them setting just the way you want. Just frustrating as heck. Let me pull this out just a little bit. I need a little bit more space here, front and back. There we go. Now remember, we're going to use a snug but not tight wraps, setting up the buffer zone concept. All right, now, you can see that they're bent in every which direction, we just don't want them to, want them to be. The one, in fact, the one on the side turned out pretty good. You know, I got lucky. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But the one on the near side is really messed up. Well, there's, a, there's things that you can do. First off, you can stretch them and pull back and forth and adjust them for length. But one of the things that you can do is twist and stretch 
and get your leg to turn around. See how we did that? And uh, we'll do it to the other leg. Now we've got to go the opposite direction if we want to kick it one way or the other. And there, that's setting a little bit better. Let's pull this guy around just a touch. That's looking pretty good to me. Now I'm going to go ahead and use that buffer zone and I'm going to take the legs in front and have them kick out to the sides and leave the legs behind tighter into the body. And what by doing that, I'm using the snugger wraps at the back and then I'll put tighter wraps. See how that, how that works out? Is it spreads these and doesn't spread the others. You use the buffer zone wraps to position things the way you want. Now, if you don't want the front legs on there, that's great, you trim them off. But the whole purpose here is to show you how you can control the spread, if you will, by using snug wraps and then anchor things in place in a different position with anchor wraps or tight wraps over the top of the snug wraps. And they still don't kick out. But the snug, the, snug, the snug wraps are acting as a buffer zone, allowing you to place the tight wraps on top. So there you are. You shouldn't have any trouble placing hopper legs on your flies from now on. Okay, guys, there you have a couple of options for hopper legs with rubber strands. Now, I gotta, I've got to give you a, a word of caution. When you use the crazy glue, the drop of glue on top of the strand weakens it. That's why it will bend. It weakens the top of the strand, but not the bottom because you don't have glue on the bottom. And uh, quite frankly, the the crazy glue bent legs look a lot better under glass than they work on the water because sometimes if you get just a little bit more glue on there than you planned on, it will weaken too much of the leg. And if you're a terrible caster like me, you'll end up with uh, part of the leg popping off because there's really only a half a leg there. The other half has uh, been made weaker by the crazy glue. Anyway, try those methods and see how they work for you. Enjoy.